Okay, this tutorial is an introduction to Tiny MCE Editor and a simple explanation of HTML. Okay, Tiny MCE Editor is this guy right here, the place where we enter our information or content into our articles. This basic um, form of text would be paragraph style. So that's just how your text is going to print as it's defined as a paragraph style. These are different uh, styles that you can apply to your text that is dependent on how the user views that text in the browser. So for instance, if I change this right here to heading one, it shows this text in, in heading one as it's defined by my browser. Your browser may be a little different. You might have heading one defined to be a little bigger or a little smaller. And that's why they call it a markup language. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. So if you view the HTML source here, you'll see that in the background, um, all we did was apply an H1 begin uh, markup tag and an MH1 markup tag. So that just marks up so the browser on the other end knows. Okay, and we can make this text any kind of your address is going to turn it into an address form and then make it italic. Preformatted is used primarily for entering um, things like computer code and stuff like that that has a whole bunch of um, formats. If you want it to look exactly how it's typed in and you don't want the uh, browser to change it up, that's what preformatted is used for. That's useful for that. And they could be all heading two, three, four, five, six, all the way on down. And as you notice, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay. Now, these items here, um, I can move on to, uh, we're going to edit uh, a certain image now. Okay, to a certain image, we choose the little tree, the image icon. That comes up with, uh, notice that it comes up without the media manager. You can only enter an image URL here. This is because we're editing from the front end. On the front end, users are not allowed to use the media manager. Otherwise, they could uh, subvert the system and change files and blah, blah, blah. A lot of stuff going on like that. Okay, I'm going to try that again. I have an image URL. This is actually it. So me. Let's see me. Eject. Um, we can choose the alignment where we want it set. Um, dimension is 640 by 480. I'm going to insert that now. Wow, that's pretty big. So we're going to narrow it down a little bit. We're going to choose it. Okay, it was easy to just delete it. Try that again. Let's set this out. I'm going to try something like uh, I don't know, 200 maybe? Uh, maybe 150? So not 150. Alright. Now there. Yeah, there. Okay, now that we have an image, um, we're going to create a link to the image to my profile. So we just highlight that. Don't worry about this white space here. The, um, I'm going to save and take that out. Oops. White, uh, highlight that. And then now choose link. And then paste the URL to. Um, 
wherever you want to go. In this case, it's going to go to my profile. Now, um, choose the title. Uh, uh, administrator. And open link in the same window. Insert. That means the link is going to be able to be right here. Okay, another thing on uh, links. Let's just say that you have a lot of information on the page. And it'll all be seen in one shot. So we're going to create uh, this is some more text wave. Way down here. Now we're going to create a link to this. Actually, we're going to create a, what we call an anchor. So we're going to insert the anchor and we're going to call it um, some more text. Choose insert. Now Up here, we want to choose, we want to put a link to just jump us down to the bottom of the page. So we just create a link. Okay, sorry about that. I had to take a little break there for a second. Um, okay, in order to create a link to jump down to that anchor at the end of the page, you highlight the text that you want to use as the link. Then you insert link and then say add some more text and choose open link in the same window and then maybe call it page down and then insert. Okay, now let's move on to lists. We have two kinds of lists. Um, one is an unordered list and the other is an ordered list, which means it's numbered and lettered. So let's just say that we want to use these items here in some kind of outline. We just highlight them and change them to an ordered list. That gives them numbers. So if you want to add an item, the list, but it, now you notice it reordered everything. Let's just say that you want to make that a sub item of that order of this item in the list, like number one, number two needs to be a sub item of one. Then use this indent, this right indent button. That'll keep everybody ordered for you. If you hit enter again now, whoop, Okay, you notice that? You have to actually put some text there and then hit enter. Now you should be able to um, enter different levels of indentation here. Not really sure how far in that will go, but you can test that for yourself if you want. The next item is an unordered list. You can just choose a bunch of those and then choose unordered. Okay, two more items of note. One is to place a horizontal bar on the page. I can just separate items. That's pretty useful sometimes. And also, if you want to see the code that's created in the background, you can edit the HTML source. And, of course, I'll scroll down so you can see a little bit here. Um, if you know about HTML and you want to change it manually here, you can. And then in the end, you can update it. Uh, it's not happening. Okay, that concludes the
introduction to tiny MCE. You can see here that it jumps us down to the bottom of the page. And then if you use the browser back button, it'll bring you back to the top. This will bring us to my profile. You have to be logged in to see that. The browser back button will bring us back. And then we have our order list and all of our other information. It's pretty simple.